Thanks for joining me for another episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, today's beer is by Deschutes Brewing. Deschutes is out of Bend, Oregon. Anyone who knows much about Oregon, they have tons and tons of craft breweries. Um, and Bend, Oregon has some of the best. Uh, Deschutes is pretty well distributed throughout the United States. And they do a lot of really good beers. Um, people have, you know, things like The Abyss. That's a big name out there. Um, and they do a lot of barrel aged stuff too. This is not one of those barrel aged. I actually wish it was. This one is called Hop in the Dark, and this is 6.8% alcohol by volume. It is what they refer to as a Cascadian Dark Ale, which some people will call a black IPA. Um, so, should be hoppy but malty at the same time. Um, with this, it is. Past its Best Buy date, I purchased it from a place called Beer Mongers in Pennsylvania, and when I purchased it, it was past the Best Buy date. So bad on you, Beer Mongers, and I paid too much money for it. Um, I would caution everybody, in this case I didn't do it, but I would caution everybody, check the dates on beers. Uh, this is just one I really wanted to try. It's not too far out. This one says Best Buy um, August 21st, so it's less than two months outside of that. So, we'll see how it is. Hopefully, it's not really suffering. Oh, I will show you. It just says, always got to show you the label. Hop in the dark. Oh, check it out. It's all dark, and there's, you know, a sign that says hop in the dark. Eh, on the uh, artwork. I've typically been pretty happy with Deschutes' offerings, so I'm hoping that this doesn't disappoint. Also, really hoping that it's okay because of the best buy date. Decent amount of head when it gets poured, um, really comes to the surface, so it should be able to, you know, get the aromas into your nose pretty well. Um, coloration, yeah, sure is dark. You can see, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little bit of, like, brown around the edges. You can definitely tell from the head. It's a brownish head, so um, let's see what this is smelling like. It does smell hoppy right off the bat. Floral, a little bit of citrus in there as well. Yeah, very flowery little grass to it. And the citrus I'm getting is like a very kind of like delicate, light citrusy note to it. It's like a little tangerine, like light tangerine to it. Um, not really smelling too much of the malt. It's there kind of like on the finish of the nose, but it's really kind of showcasing the hops, like the extra hoppage in this style of beer. Smells good. Okay. I get the malt up front. It's um, got significantly more body than what you would assume for a hoppy beer, obviously because it's a Cascadian Dark Ale or Black IPA. Um, and then I get the hops. You know, it's like the malt at first, and then the hops come out, and it is, it's flowery. Um, it's very floral in the finish. It's not crazy though. The thing is a lot of these beers um, will have like significant hops to them. And I feel like these hops are kind of dialed back. I don't know if it's because it's on the older side, um, but I'm definitely getting like the floral notes, the grassiness, a titch of the citrus. It's not really a ton of citrus. And then lingering on my tongue, I do get some of the malt. So there's a little bit of roastiness to it uh, on the finish. Um, pretty decent beer. Uh, I'm very happy that it's not like destroyed. It doesn't taste terrible because it's past its date. Uh, it's prime time. Uh, let me see if there's any information on this one. Uh, just roasted malts with a hop snap is basically what they say. So nothing real important as far as the flavor notes go on this sucker. Um, decent beer. I would recommend it. I'd be very interested to try it when it's maybe like a month after it's bottled, maybe two months max, just to see how it it how different it would be like super fresh uh if anyone's interested in black ipas this isn't the best black ipa i've ever had but it is solid um it's at 6.8 percent alcohol by volume tastes about pr appropriate for that so um fine showing by deschutes uh not blown away but don't hate it so <laughs> i guess you can call that kind of an endorsement 
Thanks everyone for uh, watching this and please check out the podcast. You can get it on iTunes and Stitcher or on the website BrutalBattle.com. Uh, you can also send in emails if you want it for me to address on my Brutal Battle beer break or on the regular uh, show. Uh, just send it to um, BrutalBattlePodcast at gmail.com. And if you just want to say something, you want to make suggestions, whatever, open to it. Anyway, thank you so much and go have a good beer.